Okay, so here's a socket that'll fit in there. And you'll find this socket is also in a set. So just look at this, look. There's not much torque on that. See, I can undo it easily. The reason being is because if I over tighten that when I reinstate a new gland, it will actually squash the gland and there's no way I'll get the needle through. No way I'll get the needle through. That doesn't make sense. Well, I'll show you what I mean. There's that. What's in there? Let's have a look. Nothing. Is there nothing in there? Let's have a look in that. Oh, gee, look at that. So what that is is double lip seal. So what you need to do when you pull that out, that double lip seal has actually got a tiny little spring in it. So that little spring is what we call a compression seal. So that seal does actually go in one way. And remember what I said about Chevron seals, compression seals, the two lips always face the pressure. So that screws in that way, so that means those two lips will go in that way to face the pressure. Now it's important, I've got a bit of thread on this and it's got to slide up and down the shaft. Don't shove it in there and undermine the integrity of the inner lip, which you can do. So just gently slide it back on there. And this is where we put some Vaseline on. Slide it back in the hole like so. Put your fingernail on it, take that out and push it into the groove. Simple as that. Let's have a look up here, what else we got? Oh, look at that. There's another seal up in there. How the flippity flop do we get that out of there? Well, we have things like picks that you can slide up there and pick it out. But because I'm going to re replace this needle and seat, I can use the needle. So just pop it up there, get it on the edge of the seal, pop the seal out. Oh, look at that. So what you've got to do is when you pop it out, just have a look which way it comes out. Well, let's have a look here. It's flat that side. Oh, and look at that. It's flat that side too, so it's a bush. So what that bush actually does is holds that seal in place. So these two go in there that way. So that one there I can put it around any way I want, doesn't matter. Because all it's doing is it's a backup washer for that little seal. So that tiny little seal is all that holds all of that pressure in that chamber, that tiny little fellow there. So that's why we're so clever when we're careful and clever when we put it back into place we don't damage him and that sits over there like that so we put that back in the gun first and what's the best way to do it dude just use the seal that the new seal and the old needle slide it back into place and then so i don't compromise it what i can do is come from underneath center it as to where I want it, so just hold it square. Then with this end, just push that seal back into place, like so. Make sure it's gone all the way home to the shoulder. I haven't damaged it because that's a flat end. Push it back into place. Now this is where I start using Vaseline. So I need the Vaseline to smear it in there, bucket loads of it and then push it down in around the seal. Now this little seal here, what I need to do is put a bucket load on that too. 